Are you always happy? Do you ever feel down or depressed? How do you motivate yourself? I think I've done a video on this subject. I do get depressed sometimes and I do feel down sometimes. My secret to get out of this depression and feeling low is to do more work. You'd be amazed how much work can solve all of your problems. Yes, all of your problems. People sometimes depressed because one, they don't have things that they like to do. Two, is some sort of deficiency. Three, two percent of genetic. Four, they don't work. They need to work. Here you go. <laughs> so they need to do something. So they offer services and they earn money and get satisfaction of uh, uh, providing services. You know, sometimes I speak to people who say, uh, I'm just feeling down, I, do, I don't have motivation to do anything, I'm just feeling low. And if you ask these people, what do they do every day? And they say, nothing, because I don't have energy. You know, do I always have energy in the morning? Do I always have energy to do things? Um, no. If I don't have a plan or target that I want to do something the next day, then I feel very down. If I have a plan to, let's say, record the video about a specific subject, I already think about this video the night before. So already into that tune of I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. Um, if I have uh, five or seven clients in my clinic, I'm already thinking ahead what the product I'm going to use, um, what the techniques. Uh, uh, there is uh, so many ways you can do uh, procedures. If one procedure you can do in different ways and I would think a day or two or, or three in advance what I'm going to do people who have nothing to do they're more likely to be depressed and sometimes it's difficult to motivate yourself and do something when you don't have energy and I do understand and I experienced this yesterday uh, well, I was working in the morning and then I went to the gym and start training and it just didn't go. From the morning I felt really weak, very weak. And I thought, what's that, what's that? And as I said before on my videos that I have a tendency of low wine. This morning I had uh, Fioglobin, I will add the link in the descrip description below, uh, which one I use. It's fantastic, it's brilliant, better than any medication. Uh, I used to have doesn't work so fibroglobin have 14 milligram of iron and plus other vitamins and minerals it works as magic so having one tablespoon this morning uh, I was just like on a go like a battery energizer and then I had another tablespoon at lunchtime and I know that was deficient and I believe that there are people who have the same thing deficiency and that could be iron. Try ferroglobin. If you haven't tried it, try it. Uh, it doesn't cost much. It actually costs about five, six pounds a bottle. It lasts me a long time. I usually buy four or five bottles. And as I said, I tried prescription, 200 milligram of iron, and it didn't do nothing for me. Uh, only constipation. So, But ferroglobin works as magic. Uh, yes, I take ferroglobin on a regular basis and occasionally I will take a break. But then when I have feel like, well, you know what, it's really even difficult to lift my arm <laughs> and my head. And it's just like everything is just effort. Then I know what I'm lacking. Uh, and straight away I take ferroglobin. Wow, they should pay me for advertising. But you know what, they deserve it. It's a good product. They deserve to have advertising bit of advertising so yes why it's important to 
to be busy. You have to be busy. And also people say, you know what, I'm working all day. I don't have time. I'm working all day. When I come from work, I'm just very tired. And I do understand this. I do have this too. I would work all day. And then in the evening, what you want? You just want to sit on a sofa and completely switch off from the world. But I cannot do this because I'm a mom of three. So I have to do cooking, I have to do cleaning. I found it easier for me when I do something productive in between. Uh, for example, uh, while I'm waiting for something is cooking, I read one chapter. Or I will do uh, RF in my cleaning for my face, uh, skin tightening. Or I'll put the mask or I'll do face peel. So I do something in between that makes me happy but I know it's effort and I don't want to do it but I still do it and I like the result and all this uh, feeling down kind of disappear and you end up really happy because you've done something productive for yourself too. I do multitask and it's very difficult for guys sometimes multitask but you can do it. So let me know what you do, what is your hobby would you like to do and I also think people shouldn't give up on their hobby doesn't matter doesn't matter how old they are and people do they say oh no I'm too old to play guitar I'm too old to do uh, whatever I'm doing because I'm, I'm too old I'm over 50 I was talking to a guy this uh, morning in the gym and he's 56 I will create a video he's fantastic uh, in He's not into bodybuilding, but his body is just amazing and he's natural. I will make the video soon. I just spoke today. So it's never too old. And when you speak to like these people, they, they don't think they are old. And some people with age of 40 thinking they are too old to start to do something. No, you're never too old. Don't think like this, please. You're not old. You're not old. You know, before I thought 40, wow, it's really old. I used When I was a kid, I was looking at my mum friends, like, who is age of 40, I was like, wow, they're really old. And I'm thinking, I'm almost 40. I'm not that old. Don't think you're old. You have to be active. Be active. Human beings need to be always doing something. You always have to be productive to get satisfaction of what you do. Thank you for watching. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comment below. I will also release soon a video about HMB. It was uh, one of the subscribers said to him, please, can you record the video? Yes, I will do that one. Uh, if you have any other ideas, let me know in the comment below. And always be active. Look after yourself. Look after your health. Because, because your health is your wealth. And look after your organs too. Don't bombard yourself with a low supplement. I do these tests and experiment, experiments. I know my limits. Most people don't. They don't know what they do. And you don't want to end up with liver that just have a name on it. Which is, doesn't look anymore like liver. Because remember, liver will, the first organ suffer. And your gut. And everything will happen in your gut, the organs will be suffering. Your gut bodies rule your overall health, how you feel, your organs, your heart, your liver, your kidneys. Our gut bodies regulates that. And it's very important. So look after your organs, your health, and look after yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye.